Azure Synapse Analytics is a service that brings together data warehousing and large-scale analytics. At its core, Synapse is a massively parallel processing database. In this video, I'll show you how you can use Azure Data Factory to ingest data into Azure Synapse Analytics. First, let's take a look at the data. For this video, I've downloaded a file named houseprices.csv containing a small portion of this data. The data in this file is in a comma separated format. The data includes information such as the region, overall average house prices for that region, and breakdowns such as the average price for a detached property and the average price for a semi-detached property. The data also contains other information we're not interested in, and we'll filter that out as we load the data into Azure Synapse Analytics. I'll create a storage account to hold the raw data. I'll name the account Warehouse Data. Select Review and Create, then Create to provision the storage account. Next, I'll add a file share named Housing Data to the account. I can now upload the houseprices.csv data file to the file share. The next task is to create the data warehouse service. I'll create a new instance of the Azure Synapse Analytics Workspace service. I'll select a resource group, give the workspace a unique name, and use my nearest region. I'll create a new storage account and file share for the workspace to use to log data. Finally, I'll set a password that I can use to connect to the service. Once I've created the Synapse Analytics workspace, I can create an SQL pool to store the data and do the analytics processing. I'll go to the workspace and select the new SQL pool menu. I'll give the pool the name Synapse Pool and set the performance level. I'll wait while the pool is created. Now I'll create the data factory. I'll give it a name and specify the resource group and location. I won't be using Git with this data factory. I'll wait while the data factory is provisioned. Before I use data factory to ingest data, I'll create a table in Synapse Analytics to hold the information. I'll start Synapse Studio from the Azure portal. Select the data submenu. Click Create New Script and select New Table. Now I'll add a script that creates a table named Housing Data. This table will have columns holding the name of the region, the reporting month, the overall average house price, and the average prices for detached and semi-detached houses in that month. Run the script to create the table. Now I'll publish the table. This will make the table accessible to the data factory. I can now use data factory to extract the data from the file in Azure storage and write it to the table in Azure Synapse Analytics. On the page for the data factory in Azure portal, I'll select Author and Monitor. The Azure Data Factory portal will open. I can create a custom pipeline to perform the transfer, but Data Factory has a wizard that I can use to create one for me. I'll select the Copy Data option. The wizard walks me through the process to create a source connection and data set and a destination connection and data set. I'll accept the default names for the task. On the source connection page, I'll create a new connection. This process sets up a linked service. I'll create a linked service that attaches to the storage account and file share I created earlier. For the source data, I'll specify the houseprices.csv file in this file share. 
The wizard shows me a preview of the data in the file, just so I can check I've selected the right one. Next, I'll create a link service that connects to the Synapse workspace. This is the destination connection. I'll select the name of my workspace and the SQL pool. I'll need to provide the username and password for both the workspace and SQL pool. I can then create the connection. The final stage is to map the data in the source file to the columns in the table in the analytics database. The table mapping page first asks for the table to use in the database. In this case, it's the housing data table I created earlier. I need to specify how the fields in the CSV file map to the columns in the table. I can do this with the column mapping page. The column mapping looks for a match between field names in the file and columns in the database. It also detects the data types of the fields and columns. In this case, the default mappings are fine. If I need to map fields to columns differentially, I can use the new mapping feature of this page. I'll use the bulk insert copy method rather than polybase for this example. I'll also disable staging. I'll copy the data directly to the analytics database. The pipeline is validated and runs automatically. If I select the monitor page, I can verify that the pipeline ran successfully. I can now go back to Azure Synapse Studio to view the data. I'll refresh the list of tables and select the housing data table. I'll run a query that retrieves the first 100 rows from the table. The data has been transferred successfully.